A little bit of rain is not too bad, but too much rain, of course, can be detrimental to the long-term health of any plant. If it's perennial plants, like the softer, uh, non-woody species that we work with, whether it's wild, a annual wildflowers or possibly some perennial herbaceous material, uh, what we're really concerned with is saturated soils that can create conditions for root rot. Once the soils are saturated, there's not too much that we can do, you know, for those perennials. Watch for signs of stress. In other words, you know, uh, all plants, uh, their roots need oxygen as well through the soil. And once uh, the soils get saturated, it creates an anaerobic environment, you know, an environment where they're not getting proper uh, oxygenation within the soil itself. So um, the best thing to do is to look out for uh, any kind of signs that the plant is stressed from that, the, that um, saturation, right? So yellowing of leaves, sometimes uh, the plants will, the leaves will turn kind of purplish, you know, kind of discolored. Uh, just watch for indication that the plant is stressed from too much water. Um, and I'd wait uh, a little bit, you know, on the plants themselves to kind of tell you what's, what's going on with them. Look for signs of, of decline. Um, it's not necessary to move the plants immediately. It's, if it's a woody species like shrubs or trees, they often don't tell us too quickly what's going on with them as far as decline. Oftentimes with woody species like trees, um, sometimes we won't see, uh, we won't see the, uh, the plant responding to that kind of, those kind of environmental conditions, sometimes for six months to a year. Just kind of remove, uh, if they have mulch around uh, uh, their landscaping, maybe pull it off to let it dry out a little bit. And then of course maintain the plants uh, once we do get into the rest of our summer where we might not get these rains, you know. Um, the soils are saturated now, there's no telling, you know, when they're, when they're going to, you know, drain, you know, or start absorbing that moisture. Uh, so go back into uh, regular maintenance mode, you know, pull back on after the soil dries out a little bit. Go ahead and remulch those, uh, those beds or those plants. Well, these are extraordinary circumstances and um, at this point it's really just a matter of waiting and see.